Okay, so we formed our oak and you've built your piers. We've set up the timber center to the correct height, level and plumb. We've also positioned the piece of timber down here with our nail to mark our striking point. The next thing we want to do is mark our skew backs. So we mark our skew backs by pulling the line from the striking point up through the springing point. From our striking point up through the springing point and this is how we mark our skew backs. It's important now that the two springing points are level with each other. So we take the springing point from this side and we need to hold our level in position and transfer the level over. To make sure that we're marking the springing point up correctly on the opposite side. The reason we do this is because it's imperative that both sides of the arch are symmetrical with each other. In other words, the cuts for the skew backs on the left should be a mirror image of the cuts of the skew backs on the right. So once we have them marked, then we can take them down, bring them into the saw room, and cut them.